I am the one they call Nick Shell, and this is actually the first video you've watched since subscribing to my channel. So there's a lot riding on this video because you're either like, yeah, I shouldn't subscribe, I'm not unsubscribing now, or you're like, you know what, that's weird enough and at least amusing enough, I think I'll watch the next video after this one. So that's what's at stake. All right, let's get to work. The way it works is people leave comments on my videos, they grow off of this real life tree here in Tennessee. That's just how things work. Just don't question it. So the video that was commented on was receding hairline, buzz cut, or hair. You decide which looks better. Now I've had this video for a while. It's one of my most popular ones. And someone by the name of Dallas Green 123 left this comment saying, quote, looks better with hair in my opinion. The comments you get may be a bit biased because people get on this video when searching for the term buzz cut. So probably there are many buzz cut fans clicking on this, end quote. Man, I actually never thought about that. I'm not being sarcastic, I'm being literal. I have actually not considered that. So thank you for bringing that to my attention. I have to keep that in mind because you can imagine if you're me, you get comments every day, usually conflicting comments of people saying, you look better with hair, you look better with buzz cut, uh, you have too much hair for your age to be talking about hair loss, you have very little hair, you need to freak out. So I, you know, I, I get all these conflicting, but that's such a good point. You know, I am, I am aware as a, as a YouTuber that I have to be aware of what is bringing people to this channel and therefore catering to that, which is why people who don't understand that say that I'm obsessed with hair loss when in reality I'm catering to those needs. But I went into the analytics and I do see that, uh, the terms receding hairline and buzz cut are one of the most, two of the most popular phrases that bring people to this channel. So I am always finding reasons to put those in the title, uh, which we'll see what the title of this ends up being. But I have to, I have to be aware that there really is on this channel buzz cut bias. That people who think that the buzz cut looks better on themselves are naturally going to think it looks better on me, whether it does or doesn't. But even then, it's still a matter of interpretation, a matter of opinion. I suppose I'll never really know if I look better currently with a buzz cut or with hair. Uh, but there is going to be that bias from people who come here for that. There, I guess it's a twist on that saying, uh, treat others the way you want to be treated. It's more the opposite. People are wanting to be treated according to how they want to be treated, how they see the world. Therefore, that version of reality is, is what they're looking for. So in other words, if you have less hair than me and you prefer the buzz cut, naturally, you're going to want me to get a buzz cut. And naturally, those people are going to be searching uh, for this. So eventually, you're going to be very happy. If you're one of those buzz cut fans, um, you're going to be ultimately pleased in the end because I'd have to expect that after this year, we're, we're going to be seeing more buzz cuts. And uh, I'll be talking more about that. But for me as the host, the neutral host, I have to keep in mind that it's, it's altered. It's an altered amount of numbers of comments coming in saying, get a buzz. Cause have you noticed that? I don't know if you read the comments in my videos cause I don't, I only address certain ones in the comment tree. But if you've noticed how many people want me to get a buzz cut, it's an epidemic of people that want me to get a buzz cut. But I have to remind myself that that's not necessarily a true perception of reality. Just like I was recently watching a YouTube video on the actual size uh, of the countries in, in the world, that what you see on a map is not necessarily the same proportions as what it actually is. And there's a, a cool website you can go to called the true size of.com. I think that's what it's called, something like that. Anyway, if you search that, it'll take you there. And you can actually play with like stretch, like take the United States and carry it over to Alaska or China and like actually get a true perception of what it is. I have to, and I am aware of it, but this is just another friendly reminder, and I, I'm, I'm grateful for that, that people keep wanting me to get a buzz cut, but that doesn't necessarily reflect reality. Even if it looks like 70 or 80% of the people think I look better with the buzz cut, it's not necessarily true. It's just the people who think I look better with hair, like Robert, for example, who's, who's told me that 
those people aren't showing up as much in the comments because people who think that I look better with hair are less passionate about that than people who have accepted that they themselves are at a point where they need to buzz their hair to feel good about themselves. Uh, and, and so it's just a matter of the votes being swayed in that. So I'm grateful for this, this reminder. And uh, one day, the people who prefer the buzz cuts will get theirs because, man, they'll, they'll get what they really want because then they'll get to see me back to where I started from in the days of the buzz cuts. So thanks for the reminder there at Dallas Green 123. Uh, I, I learn from you guys just like maybe you learn from me. I don't know if you really do or not, but there's something to be got out of it. So remember, this is the first video you've ever watched since subscribing. You've got a decision to make. Do you want to make it to the next video or do you just want to jump off the back of the pickup truck now? So let's find out. I'm going to do that next video right now. We'll see if it's worth continuing to watch.